I forgive you. Sonic sat in his beanbag playing a game on his phone. Knuckles stared blankly up at the ceiling as he laid sprawled out on the floor. Tails was already fast asleep in Sonic's bed. It was a standard sleepover for the three, just enjoying each other's company. Tails was practically another member of the Wachowski family, while Knuckles technically lived with Wade but liked spending most of his time at Sonic's. Sonic's home with Tom and Maddie just felt more comfortable, more familiar. If you ignore the leftover damage down in the living room where Knuckles first encountered Sonic. The memory of that so made the Echidna tense up. Even if it was mostly patched up by now, he still felt so, so guilty seeing the noticeable patch of wall plaster where the hole once was, still waiting to be painted. Most of all he still felt angry at himself for trusting Robotic. The fact that he knew there was something off about him but still went with him anyway just added more to the guilt. All he wanted was to honor his fallen tribe. Instead he made a dumb mistake. And the world almost paid the price for it. If Sonic hadn't had the Master Emerald when he did and became Super Sonic as the Hedgehog called it, there's no telling what could happen. The guilt was once again eating him up inside, and he said it without even thinking or getting a chance to stop himself. Sonic, I'm sorry. Sonic's ear flecked in surprise at being called suddenly, looking at Knuckles with confusion. Sorry, sorry for what? For everything, for Robotic, for your home. Knuckles sat up, hugging his knees to his chest. It's my fault that all of that happened. Sonic groaned in frustration, turning his phone off and walking over to Knuckles to give him a gentle bonk on the head. This again. He sat down next to him. Dude, you don't need to worry. I've forgiven you like a million times already. Sonic chuckled at his own exaggeration. I mean, sure, you did kind of wreck the house a bit. But everything else, none of that was you. Knuckles held his head in his hands. But it was. Well, my dick's intentions were so obvious, and yet I was still tricked. Knuckles lowered his voice a bit after Sonic gestured towards the sleeping fox. I'm supposed to be a brilliant warrior, but instead my stupidity almost led to the destruction of this planet. No, we none of us, aren't we cause of a blind hatred? Sonic rested a hand on Knuckles' shoulder. Hey, you're not stupid. A bit nervous, but that's a given when you spend most of your life alone with no one to guide you but yourself. He turned Knuckles to face him. It wasn't your fault that Eggman took advantage of that. Seriously, cut yourself some slack. But... No buts, regardless of what happened, you still stood up and did the right thing in the end. Heroes are gonna make mistakes. What matters is how you atone for those mistakes. He gave the Echidna a reassuring smile. And buddy, you've atoned more than enough. There's no way it could have defeated Eggman without you. So stop apologizing already. Knuckles simply looked down. Taking in Sonic's words, wordlessly, he wrapped his arms around Sonic, careful to mind his strength and not agitate his quills. Sorry. Really? Sonic rolled his eyes, returning the hug as tight as he could. Seriously? Both okay, I forgive you. I've forgiven you since the talk at the beach. The two stayed like that for a while, not really letting the other go. Knuckles noted just how soft Sonic's fur really was, and he could feel the hedgehog rubbing gentle circles along his back. Something told him that they both definitely needed this. We should probably get some sleep. I overheard Tom and Maddie saying that we may get some Donalds tomorrow, and I don't doubt you, but I have been seriously craving a happy meal lately. Sonic went and grabbed a spare blanket next to his bed. A happy meal week. What's that? Knuckles cocked his head in confusion. Sonic just stared at him. Dude, there is still so much for you to learn about her. He laid down on the beanbag, adding the space next to him. Phyllis has basically claimed the bed is his, and I don't want you sleeping on the cold hard floor, so get over here. 
Knuckles complied, settling down next to Sonic underneath the blanket. The Echino was surprised to feel a bit of extra weight on him, looking over to see Sonic curled up right against him, clinging onto his arm. He felt so warm, and if he focused hard enough he could almost hear him, purring, purring. There wasn't a lot he could do, really, Sonic already seemed to be fast asleep, how did he pass out so quickly, and he couldn't just gently shove him away because that might wake him up from this peaceful state. Besides, he did really find himself particularly wanting the hedgehog to let go, so he let it be, he stared up at the skylight, examined